Good morning, everyone. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking to Mark from Feedvisor, one of my favorite companies. You guys have been like supporting from really from the beginning. We really get along with you, um, you and I and Victor and everyone. Um, so it's a real pleasure to get to, to be friends with you guys. And as you've grown and I've grown, um, it's been a pleasure. It's been mutually beneficial. So Mark, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Ed. No, I appreciate the kind words, and obviously it goes the same way for us. You know, we we appreciate all all your support, and we always look forward to attending your 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 events. So yeah, uh, we're doing well here, and I hope you're doing well as as well. Yeah, yeah, so I'm doing great. So thank you. Now, Feedvise is always evolving, and I mean, I think every technology company is evolving, and you guys certainly are. So tell us a little bit what's going on at Feedvisor. And then after that, we're going to jump into some very specific questions, which I wanted to ask you, which we've discussed, which only a company like Feedvisor is able to answer. So what's been going on at Feedvisor the past few months? Oh, man, it's, it's a great question. So a lot, right? So you, you've known Feedvisor probably longer than I have. You know, we're we're known as one of the pioneers as it relates to you know buy box repricing for resellers. You know, we've gotten into the space for the past five five plus years of working with with brands and being able to build demand models that help price adjust or reprice those products as well. So we went from you know just helping resellers to obviously now engaging with brands, uh, and then you you know dovetail in our new advertising technology, and it's a full fledged support system. Uh, for all Amazon sellers, regardless of what what you're what you're selling, uh, looped in together with you know an, an amazing and analytical package. Uh, so you know Feedvisor has been doing exceptionally well over over the past call it you know 12, 13, 13 years. Now we're seeing this uh, you know additional layer layer of growth. Now I, I will add just for the sake of this call for folks who who, who don't know, um, we actually just came out this in the past month or so. Uh, with what we're saying is 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 a hundred dollar repricing technology. Um, this is this is new for Feedvisor, but you know we've we've listened to the market. And we know folks want to be able to get access to our repricing algorithms uh, at a you know a very modest price. And uh, we'll talk on that in a bit. But we're really excited about the platform. It's seen tremendous growth uh, just just so far from 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 launch. Uh, but a lot of interesting and fun stuff happening, and a lot of things on the horizon too. Uh, we're not going to talk about it today, but there's stuff that's going to be happening in the Walmart ecosystem um, that's exciting, specifically for Amazon sellers too. Uh, so we'll have to set up another conversation for that as well. Okay, good. So let's get back to what we wanted to discuss. Um, I'm always being asked what specifically is a hot selling category, like where because a lot of sellers are very nimble they can jump at the categories and that so what specifically is a hot selling category and what specifically is a profitable category so you want to talk a little bit to that yeah i, I do and it's and it's such a great question here um and I, I brought some slides with me so you know since feedvisor works with thousands of different customers we're able to kind of harness all that data in, in, internally so um, a lot of the questions, like you mentioned, folks aren't going to be able to, to answer, but we, we are. So let, let's talk a little bit about this. So what's currently hot right now? And again, we're taking a look at 2022 versus 2023. Uh, and you can clearly see you know, a couple of outliers in, in the industry. So beauty and, and performance care uh, is over 30% you know, year over year growth in GMP. Right? You can see that here. And then home and kitchen is is 26% year over year growth, which you can see here. Uh, these aren't the other ones. Obviously, there's is exceptional growth, which you can see. Jewelry, health and household, uh, tool and improvement, toys and games. Um, there's also some categories, right, that we've always thought that are kind of the ones that are on the, on the frontier that didn't necessarily perform as great as it relates to sales. Uh, so it's electronics. I was definitely a lackluster one here. Um, and I think this is interesting. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But on the left side of the screen, you'll take a look at the top products purchased on Amazon. Now, I thought this was interesting because some of these I'm just not familiar with. I, I, don't, I don't know if you are, but I, I, I was not. Um, some of them I, I am familiar with. So, uh, you know, a couple notable ones, obviously, as far as the green doorbell, et cetera. So this is focused to your question on the sales side of things. 
Um, now let's dive into the profit side of things. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what what would be the reason why health and beauty would go up twenty percent? I mean, based on what? You know, it, it's a lot of different factors, and you, we really can't put our, our 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 stamp on which one it is, right? Maybe perhaps that there was just an, an abundance more of inventory for these for this particular mm -hmm. category that was pent up demand for COVID. That's a possible outlier. Um, maybe that they're able to get their hands on these products more efficiently than than other folks. You know, perhaps the people left the left the category in 2021 or 22, and now there's not as many folks selling. So obviously, you know, more people are making more money in this particular category. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing one area that I, I can point to. I know there's, you know, a lot of outliers. Okay. So let's talk about profitability. Um, so you'll see on the right hand side, again, we're looking at 2022 versus 2023. A lot of products, ironically, very interesting, right? Operating in in or in, in the negative, and then obviously some of the positive. So while most categories saw an average, uh, saw a decrease in average sales price when it, uh, even if GMV increased, um, however, you know, home and kitchen GMV increased 26% year over year, uh, while sales only decreased 2%. And I think that's quite good to be honest with you if you could say hey your sales volume is going to increase two percent and you just have to take a cut of of, of two percent on the bottom line for profit i think a lot of sellers that are listening is going to say hey that's not that that's not that bad just considering all the competition that's that's out there uh secondly you know home uh tools and home improvements gmb in increased 18 percent and so the average sale price increased seven seventeen percent so the average sale price is going per unit have increased roughly 17 percent uh and only, one of only cat this is the only category to do it um and again you know as we were talking about earlier you know, we're not saying this is 100 percent true but this could be a result because of supply supply chain constraints right so right. um that can have a really healthy impact on profitability if people are selling a bit less and then obviously more profit and as, as things come in and they're able to, you know, increase the amount of inventory, increase the amount of selling, potentially off that same, you know, profitability metric. Right, so th this is interesting. And obviously, if you can get a hold of these categories, so that's something um, to look into. Any idea why electronics fell off a cliff? Or it's an extremely competitive category. Uh, it, it, you know, it's 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 definitely toward towards the top. Uh, and, and, you don't think it's because of Timu? You don't think it's because of Timu? Because I, I personally look at um, Timu as a problem for Amazon because they're not going to be straight out competition, but certain categories, like certain things, like if you if you need a water pick or if you need an electric toothbrush, if you need, why would you spend three times the money on Amazon if you can get it on team with the same exact thing? And now certain things you write. If I need K-Cups, yeah, I'm buying it on Amazon. The electronics, that's what I think. You think that's possible or do you think? I think, I mean, I think it's possible. Um, I think you also raise a really good point that actually goes to my next slide. When we're talking about electronics, right? When I think about buying, when I'm a buyer and I see something that's, you know, the, the best brand is obviously probably the highest price. You know, obviously with, with an inflation where the economy currently is today, uh, folks were perhaps perhaps looking to trade down. So your example of, of that of that pick, perhaps someone's not going to get the, the $60 or $70 from pick and perhaps the new one that's not going to be $30. And the data shows that. So the, the overall average sale price across categories decreased 9%. Um, and this makes sense because what we were talking about earlier, specifically related to the electronic, folks are trading down, right? So folks are saying, hey, I'm, I'm willing to forego this obviously more expensive product because this is what I can currently afford that's within within my budget. Uh, and then the electronics industry, uh, especially, you know, you nailed know it right in the head. This, this was hit, hit very hard uh, with consumers trading down uh, as the industry saw the, the deepest drop of average sales uh, and showing that demand is significantly significantly lower in in this particular space wow yeah it's interesting it's a really interesting data um that we're able to to glean from from what we have to do and i i'll, I'll note this right 
this is this is challenging stuff to get. So um, to my marketing team, the editorial team, all the folks, the research team that put this together, you know, Ed, I don't, I don't know if you're aware of the folks listening, but they put together some of the best research I've ever seen around the Amazon space. And it's not just in small digestible bits like this. They come in the forms of 10, 20, 40 page white papers that are very in depth, right? Based on the thousands of customers that we work with. And you get this as a Feedvisor customer and some of it comes for free. So if you guys are ever interested or you're interested, you know, let us know. We have tons of tons of content on, on different types of areas. Right, this is, this is great. And um, okay, so anything else you wanna say in closing? Yeah, sure. So we'll just we'll touch on the beautiful uh, beauty and personal care. Uh, you know, this all explosive growth of which we're seeing. Um, and again, you know, the, the industry saw its biggest growth in terms of GMB, roughly 20 percent. Uh, however, the average sales price dropped roughly 14 percent due, due to the demand uh, in, in deals. Um, so a little bit of a market saturation going on there. Uh, and just to quickly touch on, because I think it's important right, is advertising. So, you know, obviously advertising came into Amazon quite a bit ago, um, but this is an interesting stat I want to show show folks here. Across the board, uh, advertising was extremely turbulent. You know, it, it saw ROAS decrease 8% year over year. So average sales decreased 24% year over year. A cost is up 8%, right? So all those folks out there saying, what's going on with my overall performance? You're not alone. This is just what we're seeing across the board. Now there are are categories that obviously performed exceptionally well. Um, you know, we'll say uh, you know beauty and personal uh, personal care did, uh, but then there's obviously ones that you know were significantly significantly impacted, which correlates really well with the data we previous previously showed. If it's a slowdown in GMV, it's a slowdown in profitability. You know, something like electronics at you know negative thirty five percent. It just makes sense as to why you're going to see the drop on, on the advertising side. Right, right. I mean, you can't necessarily read into it that, okay, so let me get a whole bunch of health and beauty products because it could be that that's just a reflection of people selling at a loss. So it could be it's a reflection of maybe they're not, maybe the, maybe the sellers are not selling at a loss, but someone else is selling at, at a loss. So yeah, you yeah. got to take it with a grain of salt. And okay, so let's, let's wrap this up with the, the new product. Yeah, I mean, like like I said earlier, we're really excited to launch this platform um, and get folks, you know, actively involved in the in the Feedvisor repricing technology. Uh, you know, we're offering the solution at at a hundred dollars a month, um, which is you know very reasonable to get your foot in the door. Uh, and it also comes with a fourteen day trial, so we're standing behind the product that we we produce. And if you don't like it after fourteen days, then you you can tell us goodbye, and our feelings won't won't be hurt. Uh, but we're right. confident that you'll. Uh, You'll stay around just based on on, on the conversion rates. Yeah, yeah, I'm calm. Um, yeah, you, you, that's probably accurate. I mean, Feedvisor is known for dealing with like the mega, mega sellers. So yeah, this is pretty cool for a small seller to get it. Okay, so thank you so much. And um, we'll talk soon about the event in July. And uh, I'm excited about that when we get more information. And hope you guys are all safe in Israel. You know, we love you, we care for you, and sorry what, what, what's happening is this affecting all of us, all right? Yeah, we appreciate it. And uh, thanks again for having us on, and we look forward to, to many more discussions. And, and congratulations to you and all, all your business success as well. Okay, thank you so much. Be well. Bye. Thank you. All the best. Bye.